Hello awesome GTA people and welcome to my first tutorial on how to become a pro pilot by me, Kiko Fancy. In this video we're going to look at some advanced tricks which used by me and other pro pilots in GTA, as well as some other basic things. Keep in mind that this is not something you may learn on your first try, as some of these tricks require a lot of time and practice. We need some requirements in order to make the learning process a lot easier for ourselves. First, you need to unlock Trevor's hangar in story mode. Then you need to steal a jet from the military base and save it in Trevor's hangar. If you have a problem with stealing the jet, I will link my video on how to steal jets from the military base. We will be using P-99-6 laser jet, as this jet in my opinion is one of the best and OP jets in GTA, because of the strong weaponized and movability. Now, once we did all of that, we need to start director mode and apply those options sitting that I'm about to do. Remember to set low gravity option on, as well as god mode and clear weather. Low gravity will help us with controlling the jet easier by a lot. Now that we saved the jet in Traver's hangar, we will have unlimited jet spawn, and we don't need to be worried about getting killed. Okay now let's get into the real deal, in order to become a good pilot in GTA, you need to mastermind the following options, I will go through the important first. Speed control and movability. Visibility. Advanced timing to approach a target and more. Speed control is very important. Whether you're dogfighting or approaching a ground target, or landing in a small area or flying throw building and etc. You will get instantly destroyed by any good pilot if you don't have good speed control. Also, not having good speed control will also cause you to blow yourself up while approaching a ground target by committing suicide. So how the truck should we manage a good speed control? Here's what I do in order to fly slow as possible before engaging a ground target. Hold the brake button completely and tap the gas button every one or two sec just before the engine dies. Taking out your landing gears before approaching a ground target may look stupid, but if you combine these two steps, it will help slow a jet by a lot. When you're flying slow it means that you have more time to find the target and blow it up. I recommend you to start practicing by flying over this area as slow and low to the ground as possible. Try to land in a small era without damaging the vehicle. Try to fly over a road slowly as possible and pick a target in good time before diving, in my case I went for red cars. Now fly on their head without speeding. Engage by taking out their landing gear and taping the gas while holding the brake. I recommend you even switch the camera to hood, if it's an on-foot target, it will help you to see more while diving. Good timing. Knowing when to dive on a ground target is very important as other ways you will end up crashing to the ground or both of you will blow each other up. Or even after you hit the target you will crash while gaining altitude. 
By measuring the speed and altitude between you and the target before diving will give the option of whether you dive or make another U-turn for a better chance of hitting your target. Here I was in a 50-50 situation of whether should dive or not. So I didn't because of my low altitude. Keep in mind that in some cases the target may be well armed and ready for you. Which you should only dive if you have good altitude and flying over his head 90d, which puts the target in a shitty situation where they can't aim on you. By the way, did you notice that I'm a robot, well I am indeed. Alright there was a lot I was trying to show, but the video is getting too long, so I will make a new video about flying backward and dogfight while you all practicing. If this video helps you learn some new stuff, please let me know by subscribing to the channel, and I will try uploading more. Thanks for watching, Kiko is out.